Good morning. So I figured I'd do like, you know, truck driving vlogs. I just got up, so you see my face is like covered in sleep stuff. But um so it's May 20th right now, like seven something in the morning. So I had a load on Friday the 17th after my home time. So my home time was the 15th and the 16th. So I had a load on the 17th. I had to be at this place by 1600. That's 4 p.m. And I'm so I get there. I got there late because I wasn't. I'm always there late because I mean you only give me two days to get ready to go back to work. It ain't enough time, honestly. But um, so and I I just I got up and I wasn't feeling well. My stomach was very upset and I was nauseous. Like I was had to stand over the toilet kind of thing. But I didn't even throw up. But anyways. I digress. I get there, I get my breakfast, I throw everything in the truck, and I'm like, I'm ready to go. Um, so I go to fuel, and then I head to where I need to go, which is like 190 something miles away. And I get there at 2.52 at the gate. I'm sitting at the gate and I'm waiting, and that takes a while and everything, but I still was able to check in before four, because if it was getting close to four, I would have hopped out of there and be like, yo, I'm here before four. Okay, no. So I check in, they tell me to do all this stuff, and they tell me to go over there and wait. I go to wait, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, which is normal. I'm, I'm used to waiting like two plus hours. Like I'm used to waiting like about an hour for them to, for me to get even in a space, and then another hour and a half or so for me to get loaded, and then I can leave. I sat there for about four or five hours and no one came to get me and they normally say like hey um, you know they told me that someone's come to get me just wait because I'm already checked in so four or five hours pass and I'm just like bro uh, I'm still here you know my clock is ticking so I get out and I walk all the way to where I checked in at the guard shack and I'm just like hey I'm just, you know, making sure you didn't forget I was here, you know, because people were coming in, in and out. This is a big factory. This is a big distribution area. So I was just making sure that you didn't forget I was here, that I have something to pick up. And they were like, oh, you came in to rush us? I was like, no, no, I'm just making sure you didn't forget that I was here because so many people come through and you kind of forget that, hey, this person is here for this time of an appointment. He's like, let me see. It turns out they checked me in on the wrong thing because normally my company does drop in hooks. We drop the trailer, we pick up a, a loaded one. We drop an empty, we pick up a loaded. For me, I'm, I was a live load and they put me as a drop in hook. That's why I sat there for so dang long. So they fixed it in the system and they're like, okay, cool. Um, and I'm like, wow, all right then. So I called my trucking friend back and I told him, he's like, wow, really? It's like, you were sitting there for a long ass time. They didn't even realize that. I'm like, yeah. So eight o'clock rolls around, 8 p.m. y'all. And someone drives up talking about you're missing like half your load. Like half your load isn't even here. So you might as well just go because they don't allow you to sleep on their property. Big ass property, really. So I leave and I have to go find somewhere to stay. So I think about like 10 o'clock <laughs> is where I found somewhere because I had to go way out of the way because there was a pilot nearby, but that was full and only had 80 parking spaces and it's full of other truck drivers who are waiting just like me. Like seriously, I've never seen a truck stop stay so full. They're, they're here waiting just like I am. And uh, so I go back, I get up. Uh, I get there about like eight or nine because I didn't have my hours back to drive. So I had to like, I had to stay at a Walmart that was like 30 miles away because there was like no parking anywhere. Um, and so I get there, I check back in again. I get, I'm, only, I'm there for like, I parked for like maybe 10 minutes when someone drives up telling me I, I can just go because it's still not ready. So they kept coming back and forth with um hey you're, it's ready hey it's not ready uh go talk to this person oh i have a door for you and it just kept going back and forth like that and then the guy was like oh they're telling you to go back up to the guard shack i'm like do i need my truck or do i walk he's like oh you can walk 
And as, as I'm getting ready to go walk, because I forgot to slide my tandems to the rear because they wanted you to do that there. They're, they, he's like, oh wait, no, just take your truck. It's fine. It's better just go take your truck. So I'm just like, Jesus. And they told me to go uh, ask this person in, in shipping, receiving or whatever. And they don't even know what time it's going to be ready. So I drive my truck up to the guard shack and then they're like, uh, are you loaded? I'm like, no, I'm empty. Because they got to check you on the way out too. I'm like, no, I'm empty. They just told me to come back. They told you to come back. I'm like, yeah, they just told me to come back because my load still isn't ready. They're like, oh, okay. So one of the ladies in there, she was like, yeah, I was here when you checked in yesterday and you're getting, and she's getting sent away again today. She was here all day yesterday and she's got, she came in and got sent away again today. She was, so she gave me her number. She's like, here, call this number before you head over here so you don't waste your time, you know? And I'm like, awesome. So that first day where I stayed all day, that was the 17th. The 18th, I came up, I walked, drove up there, got there like eight something, whatever. Just got sent away again. The 19th rolls around. Yeah, Sunday, not 19th. I get up at seven. I call, cause it takes me forever to get up. So I called at like 7, 11. I was like, hey, is my load ready? It's like, what's your number? I tell him my number. No, it's not ready. Um, okay. Um, so what do I do? She's like, well, just call back later uh, and check in. I was like, all right. So I sent them a message over the Qualcomm letting them know everything. everything every time they sent me away, I've sent them a message letting them know what was what. Um, I called again. So I, I called again at 1 p.m. and they said the same thing. I send a message again. And they're like, did you call the person uh, that contracted this? I was like, no, I didn't, I didn't. He's like, well, you should, you know, just to, you know, let everybody know so they know it's not your fault that it's not ready or something or that you're late because I'm supposed to deliver this load today on the 20th at 7 a.m. in Houston, Texas. So that wasn't happening. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that wasn't happening. And so I called these people and this lady's talking about um, that you had a 4 a.m. appointment and you weren't there. But I was like, uh-uh, no, no, no. The message said 1600. I got there, sent it in the Qualcomm at 252 saying I showed up. I officially checked in at like three something. So don't try me with that. No, no, no. 1600 at 4am if they wanted me to be there at 4am I would have been there well 4am would have been 4am the 18th because there's no way I would have made it 4am on the 17th if that's when I'm going back to work because I don't sleep in my truck I go home <laughs> so if you had sent me a message talking about it to be somewhere at 4am y'all would have fucked up <laughs> there'd been no way if I live over like if I, if I live an hour from the terminal there's no way that would have worked. I, there's no way I would have known unless you would have called me. And nobody's calling me talking about I have a load. No, no one's going to do that. Uh, unless, like, it's during a regular hours. No one's going to do that shit. Because that's, that's, that's impossible. You'd have to call me on, like, earlier on the 16th to let me know that I got to get up. I, basically, I have to leave on my home time because there's just no way. There's no way. But, um, but she was like, yeah, you got like a 4 a.m. appointment. I was like, no, I don't. Like, no, no, no. It says 1600 on this thing in the messages on my Qualcomm and I took a picture of it. Don't play with me like that. No, it is not my fault that it's late. And so, um, she put all the information in the computer and she was like, someone will give you the after hour. One of the after hours people will give you a call. I was like, cool. So I waited for a few hours and the guy calls me and he's like he's asking me the same questions and stuff he was like okay well it looks like you need a new appointment number I'm like obviously because my appointment was on the 17th and the shit's not ready 
and stuff. And he said the same thing about 4 a.m. I was like, no, there was no 4 a.m. It was 1600 on Friday, and I got there at 2.52. And it wasn't ready. I came back the next day. They said it still said it didn't, wasn't ready. And then I called twice, and it wasn't ready. So, no, it's not my fault. Don't do that. No, 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 don't do that. And, um... So he was like, okay, well, well, I'll give some calls and stuff and see what's going on. So a couple, a couple more hours pass and he calls me saying, so apparently what they mean by it's not ready is it wasn't going to be ready at all that weekend. I'm like, you could have told me that I wouldn't have bothered calling. I could have slept in. I would have took some z -Quil. I would have slept in and everything because I've been getting up at seven. I don't want to get up at seven. Like, I am so tired by the end of the day driving like I've been sleep deprived ever since I started well, I've been more sleep deprived ever since I started getting my license for this so sleep deprived like on a hundred <laughs> like level 100 and so like um they're like we there's not much I, he's like there's not much I can do because the people who really are in charge of it aren't there because it's the weekend so we'd have to wait till Monday morning and um we'll do something there and so I was just like okay I said I'll let them know because they're like we gotta get you a new appointment number and everything for when the load is actually ready I'm like cool and so I told uh, I sent it over the Qualcomm they're like cool just let the day managers know I was like all right so I sent her text messages on her work phone she like leaves her work phone at work or something like that I don't know what she does but um the only reason why I sat here the whole weekend without a new load because one, I can't get loads on weekends. Most places are closed anyway. And two, my fleet managers don't work on the weekends. It's after hours people. So the, my actual fleet managers are the only ones that actually deal with my loads and everything. So there's nothing I would have been able to do regardless. So I had to sit here. My mom's like, you might as well have gone home. I'm like, if home wasn't over 200 miles, yeah. I have to stay near my location. I'm literally at this pilot. It's 2.5 2 miles from where I need to be. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> it's like, no. And being that I'm not in a car, I'm in a truck and trailer. Where am I going to put this thing? Where am I going to put it? Where? Where? I can't even take the truck part itself into my neighborhood. I probably could if the opening of my neighborhood didn't have that stupid decorative shit in the sitting in the middle where you turn, so it separates the, the different lanes. I could probably, I would probably put it in there and park it at the pool that's next to my house. <laughs> like I would, I honestly would if I had to. I'd park that shit in the pool parking lot and and let that old white dude that um the uh, that manages the pool like I've heard the homeowners association guy I would let him be pissy I'm like I, I'm sorry dude it's I had no choice you're like whose truck is this mine I put a nice I put a sheet of paper in the window call this number this is my address <laughs> come see me if you have a problem and good luck because you're not gonna throw that shit out <laughs> you can call tow company if you want to but the tow company can't even get in there to maneuver to park to even get under the truck to move it it'd be a pain in the ass so you might as well just wait till I move it. <laughs> but no. Uh, so that's why I sat. I've been here this whole weekend. I've been here since Saturday afternoon at 2 p.m. In the same spot. And I'm just like, yay, I guess. It sucks because I'm not going to make any money this Friday. That's the only thing. I'm not going to make any money this Friday. Everything that I do from now until following Tuesday, I'll get paid next week, Friday, instead of this week, Friday. Because this should have been delivered today, and then I would have sent in that information and got paid for it today. So it's not happening. So there's nothing I can do about that. Look at me all sleepy fi like, <laughs> my eyes are all watering. I gotta wash my face. <laughs> I just figured I'd do it now, because I, I just got some, no some new load information. And um, I'm on my way to go somewhere else.
to deliver somewhere else. I don't know where I'm going anyway. It says I'm going to somewhere in Georgia and delivering somewhere, probably Texas. Yep, Dallas, Texas. I always go to Texas. <laughs> it's like, I'm always in Texas. But um, that's what happened this weekend. I've just been sitting in this truck watching YouTube videos. I've been watching Days Gone. Um, and finished that up with Rad Brad. He has like 80 videos of it because <laughs> his videos are like 20 minutes long and it's a long game. So it's, it equals a lot of videos. So that's what I've been watching uh, and I finished that up. And even though I have like other things that I want to binge watch, like Siren and stuff, but since um, Pokemon Community Day was yesterday, I was trying to like watch something that I wasn't trying to be super focused in like I really enjoyed the Days Gone story but I was just like you know playing Pokemon at the same time only caught two shinies because I'm not walking around here I used the incense I'm not walking around here I'm in an area that I'm not familiar with I'm not leaving my truck and um I don't want to get jumped by homeless people that like to wander around truck stops that's why that's why the reason why I keep looking cuz I one there's trucks and cars going by and there's these two homeless people that I've seen walking around here and I do not want to be approached. Like I understand you need help and you're trying to ask for money and stuff, but it it makes me very uncomfortable because I'm a person by myself. Not even just a female, but I'm a person by myself in an area that I am not familiar with and you're knocking on my house basically. Uh, no, don't talk to me. Sorry, go away. Don't come over here. No, 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 go away. And it just makes me very uncomfortable, you know. And so it's just like, mm, no thanks. But uh, luckily I was able to get a spot here when I got here in the afternoon because this was the closest truck stop. Literally, like, the closest one. Everything else is a bit out of the way. Like, where I was trying to go... I was trying to get back to the highway. I was trying to get back to the nearest highway because this was the only truck stop. The Walmart that's next door is a smaller parking lot. Has a lot of that decorative shit in it, so I wouldn't be able to get in there. And so I was just trying to get back to the main highway and then there's some truck stops and rest areas there. That's why I was like 30 miles away because that was the nearest area. And my truck, my trucking friend was like, why you go so far, there's a Walmart there. It was small, like you have to think, not all Walmarts are really big where, you know, you can just pull in a fucking truck and park. That wasn't one of them. I saw it as I was driving by because I would have turned around somewhere. No. And then the next one was the same thing. It was small. So when I came across the third one on the way back to the highway, I saw some trucks parked in there. So I was like, oh, okay. So this, is, well, this one's big enough. Awesome. And that's where I parked for the night. And I've just been here at this truck stop for two days. Which I don't really mind. Because, you know, it's a truck stop. One with a shower. <laughs> and Wi-Fi that works. But anyways, that's what my weekend uh, consisted of. Just me chilling in the back of this truck. It's kind of hot because it's summertime and the truck turns off and everything like that. So... And now my whole clock is reset. I have all my 70 hours. I was down to 61 from being on duty. From, be, from being on duty on the 17th and then being on duty for the few hours. For, for a couple hours the, the next day. So now I'm back at the full 70 hour clock. I'm not going to be scrounging for hours like I was the last time around. And um, where I have to go get loaded at is only 60 miles away and I have to be there by noon. That's perfect. Because it's like, what, it should be about... 8 o'clock now because I've been recording for 19 minutes so it should be about 8 o'clock now so I'm going to go brush my teeth wash my face uh, lotion up get something to eat and do my 15 minute pre-trip and I'll be gone oh this angle so much better you can't see how dirty my face is <laughs> I just figured I would record it now before I forget and I'm on the road and I don't have time so I just figured I would record it now so excuse how I look this morning even though it's not that bad. It's just, I got sleep stuff on my face. But, uh, I just figured, because I would be, like, rushing, and then I would forget, and I'm trying to get, like, all the details out before I forget. And that's why I decided to record it now before I go 
uh, brush my teeth and stuff and then get going. But anyways, I'll catch you later. <laughs>